everyone and welcome to a showcase video. It has taken hours and hours to set this up. Not because this is particularly that difficult, but because getting the skin for Indoraptor is really hard. And today we're going to showcase all the different skins and all the different variation. That is a total of 84 different skins. 12 like base colors with seven pattern variants. Again, I'll reiterate in the last video I mentioned about there being lots of different uh, combinations you can do. People were kind of like, oh, but there's only one pattern. Don't worry, you'll be fine. <laughs> there's a lot. There's a freaking lot. So in order to actually unlock all of these colors, you need to do a uh, challenge mode on hard in Germany, I think it is. And that unlocks the Dr. Boo hybrids. Um, that took me a good few hours to do. Let's just say that. And that's all I've been doing today. And then, of course, setting this up. So if we have a look at the map, there they all are. Oh, I don't know what happened with this guy. Sonorian Blank decided to just get out of... I don't even know how. It hasn't even broken out. There's no escapes. It must have just phased through the fence. But anyway, well, I digress. I think we're going to start with Yukon River. The one time I wanted to show you and you're in the dark. So what we're going to do, whether it's going to be a speed through, we'll probably spend more time on other skins than, you know, maybe some more boring ones. But if you want an Indominus Rex that is just... Oh, sorry, Indoraptor, I should say, that is just black... It is this one. It is the Yukon River. Um, it's exactly what you think. It's black. Now, I say this as if this is, you know, stuff you should know. However, there's a lot of skins that are what it seems like in the hatchery, the same color. You have like Yukon and then you have, um, what is the other one? Limpopo River, which are all like shades of black and gray. And you think there won't be much difference, but actually on the dinosaur, there is. So here we see the, the blank skin. Now we go over to Rana, which is the orangey one. Now that's probably the closest you're going to get to um, the Indoraptor we know. And I think that's probably the skin. There isn't a movie skin for the Indoraptor. Uh, or maybe there is, but I haven't done Fallen Kingdom yet. Oh, so we're missing one skin. Never mind, one skin. If it is even in there, I don't know. But this is pretty much the closest you're going to get. Um... And then we go on to a green, the Chal Corana. Now you'll notice to start with, I um, I sort of just end up just calling them Chal or Litho because I'm not typing it all out. Uh, so what the amazing thing has been with the past with evolution when it's come to Indoraptor is when you change the skin, you change the stripe. You wouldn't really change the actual base color of itself, but here you will. So you've got the next one, which is Lithobates, which is uh, maybe more of a yellow. It's a yellow, but it's more of the screen accurate kind of look. Um, then we move on to Yukon with a Paul Charana. Oh my God, this is as bad as Blummin' Warhammer. Citadel paints with their, their color schemes. Uh, then you've got Yukon with a Papurana, which is blue. Um, I don't even think it looks blue, actually, or maybe it does, but you've got this very oversaturated uh, blue there. It's as if you've just taken the levels and just cranked that up to super saturated levels, and it's made this almost color burn blue in there. And the final one for the Yukon River, the Pelioflax, which we'll just call that one green. Uh, so out of those, I mean, you've got a black interrupter base and then a green. Not too bad. Now on to one that's like a... I think a grey, the Salve Bard, um, which is a grey, but it also has this underlying green to it. Oh, hey, and there you go, a little interaction with the Indoraptor there. But you'll also notice that the green uh, is on, it's not covering the, the entire snout, but this is the blank. You would think that maybe this is a pattern on it. No, this is just a blank one. Uh, so we're going in the same pattern. So he's the Rana with a little bit of orange on it. You've got the, I think this is the green. Then you've got the litho litho baits, which is I think li lichen lichen is probably a green, sorry yellow. Then the pulcherana. Now what happens sometimes with these colours is you'll notice the difference between uh, that one and oh I'm clicking the wrong button and that one is it doesn't look like it has a pattern, but it is actually there very faintly on the tail in comparison to the blank one. And of course Papu being blue and then going on to the final one which is the dark green so basically when it comes to these uh, color schemes they don't look like they do in the hatchery so for instance the uh, Papu which is the blue I think actually looks purple in the hatchery but here 
it's represented by blue, which is kind of frustrating in a way. And even some of the quills you can see on the head have the coloring of it too. I don't know if they all do. No, you're a green, yet you've got red on your head. What about this guy? Do you have... You have white! So it's like... Oh, I guess I think that one is actually white. And you're yellow, so you have yellow. So for whatever reason, instead of having green on it, you have red? Oh, I don't know. It's, 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 it's strange because you think you know what you're going to get. But you don't actually, because the purple looks blue. Uh, moving on to the Amazon rainforest, I think this is. Where now we're in green, green. So when we see this on with the uh, the Pelio, it's gonna only faintly show. So now we got a Rana, which is of course the orange on it there. This is actually not a bad combo. I quite like this one. The dark green with the uh, the orange on it's quite nice. Now onto the Amazon and the Chal, which I think is a lighter green. In fact, you can just see it on the tail there. Fades in almost perfectly. Then Litho being the uh, yellow. Not bad, not bad. Uh, Pulch. Now this is... I feel like... What is Pulch? I don't even tell. No, Pulch is a very light green. It's almost like a white, basically. Now onto the Papu, which is the blue. Woo! A blue and a green. Uh, yeah, I guess it doesn't look too bad. I wish you would turn towards the light. <laughs> For whatever reason, this game has... They just have a code in their dinosaurs to be like, right, where's the most shadow? Yeah, let's face that way. So we can't even see it. Like, look at that. We're going to have to speed up the blooming footage. There we go. Beautiful. That's not bad. It's a bit contrasty. And now on to the green green. And actually, you can see that really well. We'll just speed up the footage so it gets past the damn hatchery. There we go. That's nice. So, and that is the last of the rainforest. I quite like it more with the green. Now on to the mangrove forest. This one being a darker green. Uh, a lot of these just keep the, the darkness of the snoot. But this one, eh, I'm not really sold on it. It's very... It's already got... It feels like it's already got a pattern on it already. Um, I've seen a lot... I think a lot of dinosaurs, I think... I haven't really tested it too much. But if they have a mangrove, it will look like this sort of... Uh, so that's a blank. The Rana, which is the orange, eh, does give a little bit of extra color to it. That's nice. Okay, that's a nicer one. The Chal being the pale green, I think. Yeah, you can kind of see that there. That's not too bad. The light green is also quite nice. And on to this being the Litho, which is the yellow. Uh, kind of makes it look like the underbelly is also just sort of going as part of the stripe. Not bad. And now Pulch. Where's Pulch? That's more of a white one. That's nice too. And on to Papu. Blue, I often find blue doesn't really work too well. Or at least it doesn't for me on a lot of these skins. It doesn't float my apple. <laughs> and on to Mangrove Pelio. Or Pelo, which is more of a luscious green. Again, it's a shame we don't have multiple patterns, but you've got all these different skin variants, and then you can slap on a, a pattern onto it with a different color. There's a, there's a lot. There's a lot. And on to Gambia. This is Gambia River Basin. I can't remember which one is the one that you unlock do, doing hard challenge mode, but I think it's the Limpopo, which we will get to in a second. Or Limpopo. I think it's Limpopo. So the Gambia, more of a dark maroon red. Now, yes, I think I remember releasing something with this, and I can't remember what it was. I think it was the Sukumimus in the Battle Royale video that had this color scheme. And I think it must have been Rana. Uh, oh no, Rana can- Oh, the flip! <laughs> uh, you can't really see it there, not, not too well. Uh, the Chal being the light green, then the white. Oh, sorry, the yellow. Now the white. White doesn't look too bad. Onto the blue. Now, how does the blue look? With a dark red. Very contrasting colors. Yeah. It's like an old-fashioned- I don't know, I, I'd imagine like an old leather Winchester sofa- being this kind of dark, maroony red, and the blue. It, uh, uh, I mean, maybe oh, it's not winning me over. I'm winning me over. And the green works better. I think the blue is just way too contrasty. On to the. I have to write them all down here because I didn't. At this point, I was like, Nah, I'm doing this. <laughs> uh, this one is the Sonarian Desert. Um, now this one's quite nice. It's, it's got that yellowness to it, but it's got a bit of orange as well. Uh, let's move on to Rana, which you probably won't be able to see too much. In fact, it looks white. Yeah, I think Rana's the orange. Now we've got the... Oh, God, you're always in that damn shade, aren't you? Go on, let's speed you up. Oh, this one. These ones got mixed up. So actually, this one is the Rana. 
Because what you have to do is release them one by one. Because I tried to release them all at once. And then the numbers were all mixed up. And I was like, oh, God. Okay, one by one. <laughs> so that one must be like Litho or something. It's the... No, this one's the Rana. And then the Rana is actually the Litho. Yeah. So the Chal... Oh, God, it's all confused. Anyway, you've got the light green. I don't know. Then you've got the yellow. Then you've got the papu, which definitely hasn't changed. And actually, maybe, maybe it's at a push. Blue and yellow complement each other, but yeah, it's that dark purpley bit. I think oh, the dark blue, the, the color burn thing, I, it doesn't work for me. And then the paleo being the green. Yeah, it's a tough sell. It's a tough sell. On to Death Valley, blank. This one, I don't know if this is the whitest. I think the Quillian Mountains is the whitest. So we're getting close to the albino Interruptor. That, of course, you know, Interruptor had a twin sister or something. And that was supposedly killed or something like that. I think Indominus Rex had a sibling as well. These Indos like to kill their siblings. On to the Rana there, not bad. A little bit of a limey green zest. Litho being the yellow? Yeah, not looking too bad. Um, Valley Pulch. Now, this one's the white, and I mean, it gives a pattern to it. If you if you like the skin color and you want a pattern, light, uh, Pulch is your one. Papu, being the blue, eh, it's like a Indoraptor Gen 2 a bit, but I think that's Quillian. And Pelo, being a green, actually works a little bit better if it wasn't sleeping. You can kind of see it there. Now onto the great sandy desert. Um, wait. Oh, this is Rana. Oh, right. This is the only one I missed. I missed Great Sandy Desert, like, blank. But we'll basically see a blank with this anyway. Um, because I, I think I, I paused it and saw to the dog. And then it came back and went, Oh, crap, where am I? And unfortunately, when you're incubating a dinosaur, it doesn't tell you what skin it has. So that'd be really nice if you put that in for a tea. <laughs> and if you could nickname the dinosaurs before you release them, also good. Um, so here we go. Sandy Chow, which is the lime green and then we'll have the litho which is the yellow yeah it's, it's not so bad that that one works actually i like that that's my favorite from this so far the sandy uh then the white which yeah i think this one lends itself quite well to these colors papu being the blue you know what yeah yeah blue's actually quite nice with that and paleo Hello, hello, hello. Green. Eh, maybe not so much. Now on to Champlain Valley. I think I'm saying these all right. Good lord. This is a more... It's not as strong as the mangrove forest. And not as green as the Amazon rainforest. It's kind of like an olivey green. Uh, we're going to the Rana. Not bad. We're going to the Chal, which basically is its uh, base color. And you can't really t see much difference. Uh, the Litho being the yellow. Uh, the Pulch being the white. That one works. Ooh, I like that one. That's nice. More like a Lizardy. And then the Papu, which is... Oh, yeah, you're down now. I was going to say, you're not blue. <laughs> Although, let me speed this up so we can see this one. Because this one might be quite nice. Go on. Get your head up. You know you want to. Ugh, okay, never mind. Sit back down. <laughs> uh, maybe for some people. And Pello, which is more of a green. Yeah, that one works. Bit too saturated. I think we hit it right with the the, the Litho or whatever the, the white one was. So here we go. Sala del Huasco. Um, this one now. Okay, this one is now an olive. Um, you don't even know as much of a difference between that skin color and then this skin color. They are pretty much the same. This one's obviously a bit more olivey. Um, we've got the Rana version of it. That one works. We've got the Chal version, which is the lighter green. Eh, inoffensive. The Litho being the yellow. Uh, yeah, that also kind of works. The Pulch, which is the almost white. Then the Papu being the blue. Yeah. And then the green. Now, the blues and greens are very contrasting. I don't really like them too much. Now, Limpopo River. This might have been the one that was the unlockable. So it's a bit like the maroon, but less saturated. Uh, we'll look at it with the banner on it. And of course, it's in the shade because it has to be a bit shell. You get a nice uh, view of it. Yeah, it's basically just a desaturated Gambian whatever it was. I think Gambian River Basin. So a litho being yellow, then a white. White looks quite nice, actually. Yeah, the white will do for this one. I'm not really sold on the color itself, though. Um, this is Limpopo River Papu. 
Oh, oh, right. Okay, Limpopo River. Papu one. It's the blue. Eh, nah. Not really fussed about it. Same with the green. Not really fussed about it. Now, Quillian is basically your albino Indoraptor. It's the whitest you're gonna get. It does. That's whatever you're gonna do. Uh, Rana. So, this one. Ooh. Do we have an Indoraptor that has this color? Is it like an Indoraptor Gen 2 Max Level 40 in Jurassic World The Game or something? Uh, I'm interested to see what the Papu looks in this one. So, Chow? Yes! That actually quite... That works because there's like a little tinge of green to it. And then having the stronger green on the yellow and the white just to fit it all together looks quite nice. Uh, Litho being a... Oh, God! Oh, there he goes! He just flies! I love that interaction. And I'm glad they're not killing each other. Very nice of them not to do that. Litho being a yellow on top of it. Um... And this one's the white, the pulch. And you barely notice it. Like, you only see it on the tail with the interactor. This is a bit of a shame. Uh, Papu. Oh, come on. Yes. Yes. It kind of works. The best one, I think, for the uh, Quillian. And Papu works. Yeah, I'll take that one. Oh, I love that they actually added standing animations for this. Because in Evolution 1, it was very grounded on all fours. But this time, it can scratch itself. Uh, Pelio being the green one. And I think that sums it up. That is 83. But we missed one. Basically, all skins. We're only missing the one that if it if you do unlock it with Fallen Kingdom, then I mean, it's basically just this. But, you know, a little bit different, basically. But if you've enjoyed that video and you want to see more, um, we'll probably do at least one more because I do want to see all of the Indominus Rexes. Uh, all the different skins we can have on that. But if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like. Let me know in the comments if there's any specific dinosaur that you might want to see now that I've got this set up and I know how to do it. Uh, and as long as I don't need to unlock any, any more skins for God, no. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.